Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to This War of Mine. Now, this is a game, if you haven't seen my previous, uh, you know, preview or preview series, uh, about being civilians and trying to survive in a war. I mean, it's basically a sort of a slightly strategy-esque survival game where you play civilians and you basically are trying to survive in the middle of what is effectively a desolate war zone. And people seem to really like the last series, despite the fact, you know, I said, oh, it's only the first 12 days because this is a very early pre-release copy. Uh, you know, this first 12 days, not much else. But people seem to really love it. And people kept telling me they wanted me to, never, me to do another series. So, okay, okay, you wanted it. I was a bit, I was a bit dubious. Like, the first 12 days, I thought people would be like, oh, it's terrible. 12 days only. You didn't finish it. But people seem to love it. So, yeah, thank you very much for that. And, uh... Well, you have your wish. Let's play another series. This time, we're going to do a certain spin on it. We're going to be evil. And instead of doing the sort of middle of the road, feeling bad about when we did a bad action like we did last time, we're going to be evil. And this will result in our game breaking down. It really is not an optimal way to play. Um, it, it results in people getting depressed and basically, you know, being completely broken and not actually being able to do anything. Um... But we didn't see much of that in the last series. Uh, we didn't actually see anything, I don't think. Um, other than someone being a bit sad. I don't think we got anyone actually depressed. So, what we're going to do this time is we're going to play, again, the uh, the preview build. So we only got the first 12 days. And we're going to see how evil we can be. And see where we start to uh, break up to the point, you know, that... Uh, you know, we, we can't actually continue on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not going to live very long, um, but we're going to be evil, right? We're not going to go out of our way to find trouble. We're not going to like run up to an army barracks and start looking for supplies. We're, if we if we find people and we have a chance to dick them over for stuff, we'll do it. And by dick them over, I mean probably shank them. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so please, when I'm a complete asshole in this game to people, please don't blame me. Because we're just role-playing it, and I'm going to feel bad enough already, because this game does a very good job of guilt-tripping you over your actions. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to take it. So, if you're ready, we're going to play this War of Mine. Now, if you haven't checked out the previous series, I would advise you to check that out first. That's a normal style of play. And if you haven't checked out the preview video I did, uh, if you want you know the, the, sort of the TLDR about what this game is about, go check that out. Especially, by the way, if you're going to check that out and you don't want to check out the entire series, check out the last episode of the last series. Oh my god. Some amazing stuff, really good. That sold that last episode, the stuff in that sold this game to me. I was just like, right, love this game. I really do. Um, as of course, this game is still in development, isn't released yet. So be aware that things might change. It may come out broken, it may come out shit. I don't expect it to happen. But as always, just be aware that this is not a finished copy. That said, I'm really looking forward to it coming out. So let's go survive, or in theory, hopefully survive. Um, in, in this game in particular, dick people over. So, uh, days of war can break down any time. Anywhere. If your city gets under siege. Let's, uh, just skip. Can we skip? Skip? No, okay. You're not prepared for it. It is getting very cold. Oh god. What? What? I've never had this before. Um, I've never had it start in winter. I thought it always started in summer. All the games I've played, like, well, it's only like, I think three, four I've started. Um, all my starts have been in summer. I've never had a winter start. Oh my god, what the hell is this? This is going to completely change my playstyle. Okay, so we have three people, two women and a guy. Um, the district where Boris lived got shelled and fallen debris, buried many people. He helped out the survivors. Um, he helped pull out the survivors. Among them, Katya, a local reporter, and Erika, a girl who fled from her town to the capital, only to find it besieged. With nowhere to stay, they decided to... Okay, cool. That seems awfully good of you for someone who's about to go shanking old women in the home to steal their... Kidney beans. Yeah, we probably like kidney beans a bit too much. I don't know. I was driven from a home sticker, I think. Fleeing slaughter. We were met by chance taking shot and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Um, right. The temperature is minus one degree. 
Oh, holy crap. Okay, we've got Sneaks Quietly, Slow but Strong, and Bargaining Skills. Okay, so I don't know what this is going to mean for us, but... Well, we start off with a Furnace. That's nice. Okay, we're going to have to find something to put in the Furnace, so let's start clearing stuff. Um, sneaks Quietly, I will want you to... Can you unboard that door, or is it going to be locked? And I want you to start searching. So we've got no one with a bonus to search. So we're just going to have to try and uh, do this as best we can. Uh, it looks like we have... Ooh, um... What's that? Fuel. Oh, okay, grab all. Sweet, we've got some fuel. Uh, grab all of that. Okay, uh, before you go and actually start digging for all of that, I want you to put some uh, some fuel in. I could probably right-click. There we go. I think we'll probably need to put two fuel in there. Right, now, run back. We need to find some more fuel and stuff. It is fairly cold, and I really don't want people to get, like, horrendously ill and hypothermic. Uh, they've got people to shank and stuff. Okay, we've got water, we've got mechanical parts, we have books. You can burn books if you need to, and more fuel. Okay, so it seems to be taken into account the fact we've started in winter, and it's giving us more fuel to compensate. Okay, I like that. Um, let's start going through here. Uh, why did I open that door? There's nothing on the other side. Okay, look through there. Okay, so I'm complaining about lacks of shovels. Hmm. I don't think you can make a day one shovel. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, ooh, great. Components. And some wood. Okay, now where do we want to go? Um, yeah, start shifting that. It's rather chilly inside. We should think about some heating. Uh, we have. Is the temperature going up or is it just going to stay at 6? Because that's not very warm. Yeah, 6 degrees. Uh, incidentally, I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. Probably something like 40? I don't know. Fahrenheit's a very odd system. Five. Oh, God. We need more fuel. Um, you, put more fuel in. There we go. We're up to four fuel. It's a lot of fuel we're using. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to get a chance to play like an arsehole in this playthrough. Or maybe we'll just play like a little bit of an arsehole, not like a massive arsehole. Just a little bit of an arsehole. Like, if we have a choice, and it's a legit option, we'll go with being an arsehole. Because otherwise, like, we're not going to get very far. We're going to just burn to death. Um, we've already got a lot of lockpicks, don't we? So we'll just start opening stuff. Just to get everything we need. We definitely need to hatch it early on so that we can actually uh, break down furniture and get some wood. Ooh, bandages. Great. Grab all. Exit. Okay. Um... wonder which one's going to be finished first. Probably the door is my guess. Oh, no. Oh, both at the same time. Okay, move to there. It's getting cold. It's 10 degrees. God damn it. How much fuel do we need? Uh, okay, more stuff and more fuel. Right, exit. Using up all our lockpicks, but... I don't think we have much of a choice on this one. Okay, right, let's see what we can get behind door number one. We're getting to the end of the day now. We've got a few hours before the end of the day. Come on, Boris. Uh, do we have a lockpick left? I probably should save at least one lockpick, but... Medicine, excellent. Food, some water, and books. Okay. Um, probably want to see if I can make stuff for the uh, the first raid. Don't think we'll be able to get through there. It's boarded from the wrong side. It appears to be boarded from this side, but the way that uh, the arrow looks, it looks like it's been boarded that way. We'll see, I guess. It's really chilly. It's nine degrees. God damn it! How much fuel do we need? Does it carry from day to day? Do we keep a measure of our heat? I mean, this place doesn't really keep heat in very well. It's got a lot of holes. Oh, great. This is really good. Uh, wood, components. Excellent. Right, okay. Go down there. See if we make some before the end of the day. Uh, 
And ooh, ooh, we got jewelry. Right, that's really good. And ooh, more lockpicks. Good, right. That's getting somewhere. Right, before the end of the day, we've got ten minutes left, almost. Uh, we can make some stuff. Okay. Household items. We'll definitely want a metal workshop, but I think... If anyone's watching my last playing through, I, I do tend to be in favour of getting the moonshine still as soon as possible. Um, crude stove is also good. I think we'll probably go for rainwater collector. But we can't make rainwater day one because we're out of time, so... Bed. Bed doesn't matter day... Mm, actually, yeah, it will. So let's, let's place the bed. Uh, that seems to be a good location next to the th furnace. Completely logical to me. We won't be able to make it before the end of the day. The day's going to end in a sec. Oh no, it's, is it 8 o'clock? Okay. Okay. Right, so can you dismantle the barricade for me? Nope, the barricade icon has disappeared. Uh, this is the first actual bug I found in this game, other than, you know, some small dialogue things. So that is a bug. Uh, of course, this game is very alpha-y, so do not worry. It's uh, a very alpha preview copy. Shelled cottage. Huge amounts of materials. Caution advised. Uh, father and son, okay. Not accessible during winter. Okay, it's getting cold. We should heat up the place or people are going to fall ill. Okay, we can't go to the decrypt squat. Fair enough. Oh, it's Shelled Cottage then. I'm not going to go there. Father and son. Um, I know for a fact they tend to be armed. 17. Boris gets 17. Right, he's slow, but he can carry a lot. I think that's an obvious choice. He goes to scavenge. Um, we'll get our bargain person to be on guard? No, we'll get her to sleep and we'll put our person on guard. I don't think we need to go sneaking just yet. Actually, no, we might be sneaking night two. So, yeah, do that. Prepare. And... Don't take anything. Oh no, take a lockpick. Take two lockpicks since they're in the same slot. Alright. Um, go. I like the snow effect. I do like the art style in this game. Can be a little bit flickery though. Um, yeah, gravel. What else have we got? So we've got a load of components. What else can we get? Dead person. Okay, that's that's lovely. Grab all. Keep going. Look at the door. Open door. What have we got behind? Cover number one. Herbal medicine and real medicine. Ooh, this is this is a good haul already. <gasps> Fridge, food. We can do about food on day one, really, but water and sugar. Moonshine, yes. Moonshine. All the moonshine. Give me the moonshine. Um, I don't need anything here, particularly day one. Sugar. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I probably can get rid of these empty cartridges and take some more sugar for more moonshine. Now we're just going to go and have a look what's around the rest of the place so we know what to prioritize. Cigarette. A real cigarette. Okay, we might take one of them just in case we need to trade. They're actually worth something. Let's have a look over here. Okay, so we've got gunpowder, more components. I can't really carry a lot more than I currently have. I might leave medication. We've got one back at the base. Um, it will be here when we come back, so... More wood, I think, is the idea, because... Yeah, let's also leave the herbal medicine, uh, because we'll need to make fuel. That's going to be really important. Right, and yeah, let's just, just run to the exit. We're done. We can load, get this place out, we'll clean it out, we'll do another run here, and I think we'll probably need another one after that. So take Boris as many times as possible. We know it's undefended. You just get Boris to sleep during the day or something. Day two, okay. Tonight a really good haul. Look what I got. 
Right, that's that's his. No, no, that's not his voice. He's like, what what would Boris's voice be? Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. That's not an accent from anywhere that exists, but it works. It's probably going to change over time. Probably end up being some sort of demented Irish or I don't know. You haven't slept in some time. Isn't there enough food, medicine, and bandages? That's enough. We don't need it. That's that's always enough if we don't need it. Um, where are you? Put more fuel in the fire. Uh, you make something. Oh, and actually, open this. We didn't open this. Oh, can you open that door? Please. Boris. Um, sleep. Okay, what can we make? What can we make? Rainwater still. Definitely make one of those. So we can put it there. We can put it there. Place there, we'll put moonshine next to it. Okay, and the thing on here has disappeared. Huh, okay, this is the first time I've encountered this bug turning up. I don't mind. I mean, it is a very early copy that uh, I've got hold of. It's uh, not due out until fourth quarter, so we're still looking at maybe, you know, at least a month away. But uh, this is the first bug that I've had like this, and it is appearing again, so in theory, next day we can open that door. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer, it's not terrible. Okay, so let us start making some rain water. It's frozen. In order to get water, I will have to melt snow from the pile outside. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we need a stove, I assume. Okay. I don't seem to be able to interact with anything now. All the icons have disappeared other than this one. Boris can go back to sleep. I don't mind Boris going back to sleep. It's rather chilly still. I guess we'll put some more stuff on the fire. I can't put more stuff on the fire. Um, okay, well, I guess we just ride out this day and uh, I guess we'll have to deal with stuff tomorrow, which is going to be unfortunate, but we should be fine. There shouldn't be any lasting effects. If this happens again, I might just end up having to redo the playthrough. In which case, you will never see this and you will never get this message. Eh, it'll be fine. Uh, okay, come on. We need food. Yeah, we have food. Are you done yet, Boris? You can sleep. And... Okay, um... Can you sleep? Faster! We'll end the day once you get to there. Which means you should be rested for the night. Okay. Um, Boris is scavenging again. Pretty obvious. Uh, set poorly, so yep, you'll be in bed, and you'll be on guard duty. Prepare! Do we need to take... We didn't actually have a look upstairs. I should probably should have looked upstairs, checked if there's anything that's locked. We'll take lockpicks just in case there is. Okay, go. We're going to assume there's no one there. Grab everything from in there. Ah, there is food in here. And bullets. Why did I bother putting bullets in the fridge? You're just a character, Boris. That's why. And what's behind? Pile of rubble number one. Everything we left last time is the answer. Ah, we can't grab all, so let's just... Grab as much as we can. And I guess we can leave... I don't guess gunpowder outside? Oh, what's there? We didn't even get to the upstairs yet. I guess we'll have a look if there's a uh, a locked door. Wood. We don't need bullets. We need wood. Um, we can leave lockpicks here. That way we won't have to bring them next time. 
Seems to make sense to me. Um, we don't need medicine right now. What have we got here? It is... Ooh! Weapon parts. Ooh, that's tempting. I actually want to take weapon parts back with me in case we end up getting attacked. Having some weapon parts to defend us would be fairly nice. So we'll grab uh, whatever we need to defend ourselves. And there was nothing locked, so we didn't need to bring lockpicks, but that's fine. And what's down here? Just so we know, we probably won't actually have to... Uh... Okay, cool. Nothing locked. Everything is pretty standard. But we can clean them out. Uh, tomorrow night we'll come and we'll get everything that we've missed. So let's just run to the exit. Boop. Boris is back. Hey, Boris. Dara, I've got plenty of stuff. Day three. It's still snowing. It's cold because uh, the furnace wasn't on. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look at what I got. No idea. The exit's getting worse or more indecipherable. Um, continue. Okay, cool. So, uh, for a start, straight away, you're going to just do that as you go past, and then we'll send you down to the uh, wood burning fire. Oh, you need to uh, do that. Okay, cool. Okay, um, you go put more wood in there. Or oh, fuel. And more fuel. And more fuel. That's enough fuel. It's not enough fuel. But okay. Uh, make a stove. Place. And we'll want to make a... We do need to get started on the moonshine. So we'll place the moonshine now. Or we will try and place the moonshine now. Can I place the moonshine here? I cannot place the moonshine there. Can I place the moonshine here? I can indeed place the moonshine there. Are you sure I can't place it here? I could place something else here. Guess we'll place it here. Ooh, her bio says something. Told you about my old... Oh, what's, what's her voice? Told you about my old man. I hate that asshole. But poor does things to people. That night when the bombs fell on Gravier, something changed. What he did, I'll never forget it. You heard what they did in Gravia, right? I have no idea what that voice is either. Oh well. At least he's sleeping down there. That's Arico who speaks like that, right? Okay. I have no idea what Katya is going to speak like. Probably terrible. Probably absolutely terrible. Okay. Cook. What does that need? Snow. Okay, so you can pick up snow. How do you pick up snow? I really... I want to know how you pick up snow. Uh, make some cooked food. Um, how many can we make? We don't have enough water to make more than one. We'll make one for now. We're going to have to figure out how to pick up snow. Oh, there's a thing here we can click. Okay. I guess grab me... Eight snow. Someone's at the door. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Well, when you're finished uh, making the food... You can go do that. It's a trading dude, so we have a little bit to trade. Eat something, and then go talk to him, because you're probably better talking to him on a, uh, an empty stomach. We can't attack him. Open the door. Uh, open the door. Okay. Trade. Come on. There we go. Okay, so what have we got? Um, ooh, he's got weapon parts. He has got sugar. 
moonshine and bullets. Okay, I don't have a gun. It's unlikely I'll get a gun. I did in my last playthrough, but it's probably unlikely to get one this time. So what we'll do is we'll probably want just to get some sugar and some water. You can have that for almost nothing. Brilliant. You can have that for almost nothing. Great. What about this? Almost nothing again. Wood and... Okay, so almost nothing for all of this. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to trade... Very common stuff. Not too interesting. We've got nothing else to do with it. We must give it to you. Um, do we have anything we can actually give you? That. More. Okay. No, books won't really cut it. And I actually want to keep them. What else can we give him? Oh, we have so little to give him at this stage. We could give you... Right, give him one medicine. He's like that. Yes, medicine's expensive, right? Oh, I wish I could put more in this offer. Okay, I guess we'll we'll do that in a second. We'll just pare this down. Oh, there we go. We had it a second ago. Um, right. Okay, so deal and. Then we will want uh, what else do we want? Um, preferably as much wood as possible. And what do we want to give him? It was a medicine, wasn't it? So up here. Ooh, can we give him that? Ooh, he will give us a lot for that. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll give him the herbal medicine instead. That's brilliant. Uh, actually, no. We'll give him one herbal medicine to see what he thinks. Oh, there we go. Fine, we can have a deal. Great. We can start building stuff really early on. I, I really like this. Yes, this is stuff we'll need in the long run, but I think getting a good start is probably more important. Okay, so for one herbal medicine, we can get almost everything we want. Do we want anything else for him? No, not really. Food, maybe, but ultimately I think we're fine. deal. And what if we give him medicine, right? What could we get for medicine? Could we get... Okay, so we couldn't get actually much food for it. Medicine's worth a fair amount, so I think we just leave him here. Not interested. Bye. Close door. And I guess we're going to make something more. Uh, you're up. Actually, you're tired. You should go to sleep. You're hungry. You should eat from the dog food. <laughs> Interesting way to get up there, mate. Um, not very tasty, but it's filling. Okay, uh, what do you want to do? Make more moonshine. What do you want to do? Uh, make me more stuff. I kind of want to make a weapon of some kind. At least one. Okay, what do we want? Uh, metal. Make. Place. And how many can we make? Right, so we're basically being limited by the amount of water we have, so... After you make that, we're going to go back on to making more water. Which we now have the snow to do. So we just need to melt that, which means we're going to be limited by our fuel again. And fuel is kind of what this is all about right now. We need to possibly put even more fuel in, actually. Open that. Okay, uh, we can make a crowbar. We can make a spade. We can make a knife. I'm thinking about just upgrading this straight away to a hatchet. Oh, we don't need a crowbar for anything currently. Yeah, let's put some fuel in when we're here. And water and books and some herby stuff. Okay. Uh, make me some water. Put more fuel in. Oh god, no, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Wrong one. How much would it cost to upgrade it? Improved heater. 
Um, no, we don't have the bits. We need a thermostat as well, which we just don't have. Okay. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, sorry. We make it here, don't we? Because we need to heat up snow. Um, we need a filter. Okay, so we need to make filters. Uh, is that a filter? Is that a filter? No, they're different. Right, okay. Filters are made somewhere else. Boris, can you make me filters? Can you upgrade the metal workbench, please? Ah, we need more parts. I don't want to make a knife. We'll probably need it tonight. We'll probably be attacked tonight, but I don't want to make a knife. What can we get here? Um, filters. Yes, I would like to make six of them now. Because we're going to end up using them all, don't worry. And you go up here and start making us some tasty, tasty snow water. So that's the one filter. Second filter is coming. Okay, so start on making that. Yep. I heard about this aggressive group wandering the area. No, wait, is that Catcher? No, wait, that was... Ah. Screw it, I get it from the voices. I don't- I can't do womanly voices, and what if I got two women? I can't do the voices. It's easier to fall ill when it's so cold. Ah, uh, yes, we should probably put more- oh, goddammit. Oh well, um... Go straight back. Sleep in the bed. Guard. Yeah. But that's gonna be tomorrow, so, uh, yeah, this has been... The end of the first episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. This war of mine is coming out later this year. We've got 12 days. We're on the night of the third day. We haven't been an asshole yet. But we're also trying to not die of hypothermia, which is probably not going to go so well. Yay! I've been enjoying this. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Stay shiny.